Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe this channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create such kind of application using recycler view in Jetpack Compose. So we know that if you use normally recycler view so we need adapter also we need so many things and it's not easy but it's very useful also all the commercial application have recycler view so in uh, jetpack compose it's very simple to make such kind of application so that i'm going to give you a demo so if i click here it will display the information on which you have click information is also coming so how you, how you can make this application that we are going to learn in more video, we will fetch this data from the JSON library from internet using retrofit and Voli also. But in this video, I am going to cover only how you can display the static data because in retrofit and Voli also, we fetch data from the internet. But first of all, we fetch data and then we display that data. So you can suppose that this data is coming from the retrofit and now we are displaying. So half part we are doing here. And next we will do in next video about retrofit and volume so here uh, i created a data class here with of image id and image description and i create array also two array one for image from the drawable folder and one for the description of the images and i create the mutable list of data which have all the information of this data class in in form of array so now I, with the help of for loop, I just add this uh, information. Uh, we say all information in the array so image description dot size minus one like this. And here I just add uh, data dot add. And here I pass the first parameter. Uh, data dot add here i pass the parameter as a class and in this class the first parameter is the image id so, so uh, i say image id image id uh, dot you can say get and here i say i and next parameter is image description dot get and i so we have added the all these value in data class and we create the array of this you can see we create the list of it now uh, i pass this data here mutable data all the list here now i have to change this to data and mutable list and here i pass data class like this now I need to create one more uh, function that will draw a card uh, you see that in this application we have a card so we want to design only one card and all other card will come automatically so what I do here uh, I create a compose function I say composable function and here I define a function uh, I say here that this function is uh, uh, can say row one row we one row we want to design so we say one row information and here i pass the data means one in one uh, one data uh, class object from this we want to pass here now here what i do uh, because we are design designing a row so first of all uh, I need here uh, row uh, row data type uh, row uh, layout so under this row layout I will design uh, image I will add image and description so first of all I take modifier and in this modifier I say maximum width we want to take and uh, uh, later on I will see more also in in this uh, uh, row uh, what I want to take I take here image so I say 
image first of all and in a painter I say paint uh, paint resources and I say data dot image ID here and in this description I say uh, data dot image description like this so image is inserted but I will add some more thing also in this image first of all now, now I take test also and in text uh, sorry in description I have to uh, write here uh, you can say image Start. here in text I want to uh, display uh, text equal to and I say data uh, dot image description like this now I just import this and so I add this uh, painter uh, image ID is an image and description now I add some more information here and that uh, I want modifier equal to modifier max here I don't want to give max width I want to give here as a modifier the padding modifier and I set uh, the padding and padding I say uh, I need padding of 5 dp like this so uh, I say here dot clip and I say rounded corner shape and I say corner size and here I say at almost 10 dot dp we want to make a clip we want to cut to from the four, four side this image so we have the clip also we have padding also and uh, now we we take text also so text we say font weight and we say font weight dot bold and we say font size and here I say uh, 30 dot uh, 20 30 dot dp sp size in sp so size is here so we import this one size is also here now you see that we have designed this and now I want to create a card so I say here that I want to add a card and in this card I want to add this row single row would be in card and under this card I take modifier also that would be of max width max width and then under this uh, modifier I take card I have a shape and in shape I say rounded corner and corner size that would be 10 dp so I want to mold or want to cut the four corner of the card and I want elevation also so I say uh, that is a part of uh, this one so I say then elevation and I say elevation of 2 dp so like this we design a card also so what I do under the greeting I say uh, lazy column uh, lazy column and in this lazy column I want to add uh, this uh, item items and here I say list and I pass here data and then under this I take data to this way and here I have data one by one and I'm passing this data in one row one row I'm passing here data like this so uh, this is done so we try to uh, run this code so you see this information is coming but we have a very uh, you can say the problem in size also because we have not given the image size so we have to give image size also and we have to make some 
uh, more uh, designing also of this so all information is coming but is not in a proper way so we do some modification so what i do here uh, in place of image what i did i want to give here image size also so what i do i say uh, dot size and uh, this is the padding and here i try to give size of image and i say it would be 150 dot dp so that would be the size here uh, now image size is there image we have this also in font we have and font we want to uh, set into the you can say uh, uh, in the alignment so what i do i say here that modifier and in place of proper width i say uh, modifier dot uh, align modifier dot uh, we can say fill max width and then we say uh, align and here i pass alignment dot uh, center vertically so that is also done try to run once again once again i try to execute it and say some changes coming you see now uh, something is uh, coming here and automatically we have this but we are not looking at this here you can say card so i want to give some padding also here so uh, when i add a card so i want to add some padding also in card and i say i need padding of 5 dot dp so i think we have now i try to refresh to see preview also and you see now uh, we have padding the gap also little bit card and we have this text also bookmark club and it is just is near to this we want to give into the center so what i can do uh, to do this uh, i have this to center so i say text and i here i say text uh, alignment equal to text alignment dot center like this and here we say comma also for modifier and try to run once again you see we have this proper way we having this information the image we also have images upper way and we have this person also we have scrolling also now whenever i click on this then it should display on which item i have click for that what i have to do here in modifier uh, i say that clickable we have a clickable like this and here i print toast toast dot make test application context and here i pass you clicked on and i pass here uh, data dot image description so i click on this description and then i say toast dot short and i just display it like this clickable we have done this and uh, we do this also we have this error also why we have this error we have extra like it okay now we've done this so once again i try to execute it so if i will click on this text then it will display toast information that you click on this particular text coming i click on this display you click on bookmark you click on book cup you click on flag so all information is coming and you see uh, it's a it's a just a few line of code if you compare this with the normal android application and with jetpack compose library so we have just 
a simple declaration and adding this information in a list and just few line of code I have this code and we have this designing layout and with the help of this lazy column this lazy column is responsible to add these information one by one you see from this item one by one we are reading the information from this data one one row is coming here and we are passing a data to the row and automatically the card is generating because from the one row compose function we have generated one card we created a one card and one by one this loop creating number of card those are available in this data so as i have here the nine images here so all nine images is coming but when we use the json library or retrofort and volley we will data and fetch data from the json from the internet then we will have data here in this list from the internet and one by one we will add so automatically this row will create it as per our requirement that we will see also in next videos but here the purpose was to create a recycler type of information by using lazy column in chatpack compose so i think you have learned that how you can create a recycler view by using jetpack compose and uh, if you really like anything from this video, please like, share and subscribe this channel and thank you for watching this video.